of the HTC came from, um, it was in Valencia, it was the ITF um, festival, so the International Trombone Festival, lately, um, and we just thought it would be nice to do something together with the Corpus Trombone Quartet, it was an excellent, excellent Hungarian trombone quartet, and at my, my solo recital, I thought it would be a great thing to, to play something together. And then I proposed and introduced the trombone quartet as part of the new project, what, what's called the Hungarian Trombone Connection. And this first time came out as an idea, oh, why not do a Hungarian Trombone Connection? It was not set that it's eight or seven or six, just an idea that all the Hungarian trombone players come together from all the world. So that was the... First time it's, we called it the Hungarian Trombone Connection and all my friends in the, in the um, Corpus Trombone Quartet just jumped on it and we were so happy, yeah, this is the thing, we have to do it, we have to do it, we do, we have to form an ensemble. Half of the group, we are living in, in other countries and uh, I think it's definitely a start of something, it's not, a, it's not like any other group where uh, members would be from the same area um, and so Yes, it's, it's a new idea, it's a new concept, and uh, we are very confident that it's going to uh, work really well for us. I think uh, the Hungarian Trombone Connection is an association of the Hungarian Trombone players, so we, we have a plan to make together the all Hungarian Trombonists and make a new Hungarian Trombone Association. You know, we just talked about a couple of months before uh, when uh, my friend was here in Budapest, Zoltán Kirsch and Zsolt Szabó and we met in our famous pub and we talked about from this project and finally it's happening. I think we can bring as a trombone octet ensemble to a new level. I believe that uh, HTC can be the new thing, the new standard. We can set a new standard in, in Trombone octave playing, just because we have the advantage of friendship, and everybody's an excellent player in the group, and it's it's so unique. I'm I'm just happy to be a part of it, really. Uh, I didn't t take a part uh, of the first planning uh, of the HTC, uh, but finally Peter called me that uh, I should play the bass trombone or the co contra bass trombone of uh, the ensemble, and I said yes. When the idea came through the Corpus Quartet and myself and the Valencia ITF, so International Trombone Festival, we immediately knew we'd do something special and something new, and we, we were in love. I think we were like little, little kids in love, we just puppy dog love, and, and, and I think it's, it's, it's something great, and that's what everybody is searching for in their life. To have that little, little tingle in your stomach when you think about your project, your own little—it's like a little, a little baby. Exactly. When you feel uh, feel love, that's the same feeling. I also also had when I when I uh, my friends told me they want to play with me again. I was really happy, and I start to feel like like a love. Oh, I have to do everything for this because I want to do the the best. We, we were a lot of uh, trombone festival in the years before, and I I think the HTC sound is is a uh, very on the top. Hungarians trombone connected. Hungarians trombone connected. Trombone connected. Hungarians connected. Hungarians trombone. You get the idea. Hungarian trombone connection.
the great advantages of being in a group, uh, in a musical group, is, is the friendship, is, is the idea of making music with something, being together with somebody, creating something with other people. So it's really fantastic. It, it's really great to, to make music together and come together as friends, as and colleagues. The best thing is that we come in the same room. It's just being like a, a class meeting from, from high school and, and everybody just clicks very well together. So that's a huge advantage in our group. Yes, and, uh, and I also say, uh, because we have this, this connection, but we also have connection in the Hungarian Trombon connection, six people, because six people played in the Corpus Trombon Quartet. So actually six of us played in the Corpus Quartet, so we have a good chamber music experience, but we also have experience with Zoltan from, uh, from the past. And uh, because we have this friendship, we, we, can, we can do a very, very high level group. I'm very fortunate to be in this group. Uh, all the guys are, are really, really great players, uh, top-notch players. So why I'm in this group, I'm not sure. I think I'm just lucky. Uh, but no, seriously, um, as I said, we, we knew each other for several years and, and I think a lot of our concepts and a lot of ideas about playing and uh, the way we play um, is similar on many levels. So uh, when the group started, uh, one of the main ideas was to find people who are great players but also fit well uh, as personalities as, and playing, playing styles. So I think... Uh, that's, that's a reason why we are together in the formation we are right now. I think all uh, members of the ensemble want to have fun of it and make music and stay friends. We are really good friends, yes. And, and uh, close friends. And close friends. And uh, we, we studied, studied in the same school. Yeah. Or the group, you know. For me, the best uh, in the HTC life uh, to be with my Hungarian friends uh, who are uh, fantastic trombone players and really nice guys. And uh, that's why I'm really happy to play with in this ensemble. We have a good friendship, uh, especially with Zoltan, because we start to uh, play trombone together in the same music school. And in age uh, 8 and 10, we started to play the trombone together, we played duo, uh, duets, and uh, after um, our life, our way goes separate, but, uh, but now we, uh, we find uh, each other again. So we know almost everything about uh, our colleagues in this group, everybody a very good trombone player, Everybody play in a very good chamber, group or orchestra. planning some tours and hopefully next year in 2016 we are going to uh, go to the States and actually um, perform on some festivals uh, over there so yes tours and um, um, visiting other countries other continents are definitely in the plans for us make many CDs recordings and maybe a lot of tour yes with, with a connection we would like to introduce the, the Hungarian Trombone Connection at uh, a Trombone Festival. We, we are not quite sure yet what festival it will be, 
Um, we have plans to do it in Hungary, we have plans to do it in the States, um, but uh, I think it's going to happen in the next couple of months. This is the beginning, so now we cannot say dates, but we have many plans. Um, the next summer we have a plan to make the first uh, Hungarian Tomo Connection Festival in Hungary. We also have a plan to go to Japan because uh, we already have a tour with the Corpus Homo Quartet and, uh, and uh, some our member had a solo performance in Japan before and uh, we love the Japanese peoples and uh, the other uh, we go to the States. We also Eastern like trauma, the Eastern Trauma Workshop. Likely a possibility to, to show the Hungarian Trombone connection as well in France are very interested to have us. We didn't play a concert yet, but people are already interested because who knows us individually or as partly as groups from the group, they are already looking forward to meet us and hear us. We talked before, we are uh, we are working five different countries, but mm -hmm. I think this is make a lot of possibility for uh, to go to at least five different countries to play concerts exactly. and make tours. So the networking is, is also on our side because we have at least five different countries as networking and, um, and also followers, fans, friends and fans, organizers and friends, fans and just trombone lovers who are looking forward to have us. Collaborating with other artists is definitely a, um, something we are thinking about and it's always a great idea to um, invite our friends and people who we know to join us for some projects. I think um, um, you know, we, have, we have a lot, of, a lot of friends around the world so definitely that could be a, something for the future. It's very difficult. Uh... Uh, sing, make, make a rehearsal for us uh, because we are living in five different countries. Well, uh, we are hoping that a lot of people are going to listen to our music, uh, not just from the trombone community around the world, but the music loving community around the world. You are a trombone teacher and I'm a trombone teacher also, so I think we must to show our students our music because to the new generation, for the new generation, it's most important our, our music. So I think this is most important for us also. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's very important to um, have, give a great example to our students and to the students around the world. And with our music and with our performances, hopefully we can uh, raise the level, raise the bar a little bit and leave a stamp on the trombone ensemble music. Hungarian contemporary music very important for us because we must to show to the public this music. It's very important for us to uh, play contemporary music and especially Hungarian since we are the Hungarian trombone connection. So it's definitely something we are going to explore in the future and hopefully we can show some uh, uh, new pieces and we can uh, maybe commission some new pieces and uh, we can uh, record it and then um, have it available in the future. We try to uh, make uh, new arrangements. Uh, we have uh, 
good players in the group uh, who has talent to, to make uh, arrangements like Chaba Wagner or Sultan Kiss. And uh, our plan is to play uh, really all music and uh, mostly uh, Hungarian music. The Hungarian trombone players and the Hungarian trombone music is already very famous, but uh, uh, our challenge that we have to make it more famous and more popular. We have friends, composers, Hungarians, well-known composers, Hungarian composers, and they, they were happy to write for us new music. We have the advantage that a lot for music, symphonic music and uh, chamber music pieces we can mash up. And as my advantage from my side that I play in a group, we do a lot of medleys and, and, and uh, comedy. So we can use that to put and bring many different styles of music into one. Not always jokey, but also in serious and um, show the Hungarian heritage music to the world it was fantastic and very passionate. In the 21st century, I think it's most important the internet because the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube it's our life and we can show to all of the people around the world our music and our chamber music and our trombone playing. We have, we have plans to make uh, recordings and uh, put to iTunes and, uh, and uh, to the internet. An online presence is very important these days. Uh, you know, everything is online, uh, everything is on Facebook, on social media, and uh, definitely that's something we are going to explore and, and we can share everything we do on, on uh, these social media venues. And uh, um, yeah, that's hopefully is going to make it accessible for everyone around the world. I think the Hungarian brass players are very uh, famous in all the world. A lot of uh, international orchestras uh, play in a Hungarian brass player, trumpet player, trombone and horn player also. Yes, and this time the world is so so small. Four members of the HTC is uh, the Corpus Quartet, and we have uh, a sponsor, Michael Rath, and we play Michael Rath trombones. Chaba and Matthias play also in the right trombones. In yes, the uh, and Zoli play Chaga and Jolt, Jolt play, play Edwards. Edwards.